Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dan here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about something that is very important to staying healthy, and that is getting enough sleep. And then, the Wicked Witch came to the house and, ah! Oh, sorry, Fuzzles, it's just a story. Snoozer, what are you doing in here? I thought you were in bed. Oh, hi, Checkers, I'm reading the Fuzzles a story. All right, Snoozer, it's time for bed now, it's eight o'clock. But I don't wanna go to bed, I wanna have fun! Snoozer, you can have fun tomorrow. Remember, you had all those ideas. You were gonna play basketball, you were gonna run outside, you were gonna eat, you were gonna read stories. But you still need to get enough sleep or you're going to be tired tomorrow. Checkers, I don't need that much sleep. I'm fine. No, Snoozer. You need sleep every single night. Why can't I stay up till 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock? I'll tell you what, Snoozer. Why don't we ask the Learning Bot? Hey, Learning Bot. Learning Bot, at your service. Hey, Learning Bot. Snoozer doesn't understand why it's important to get sleep every single night. Can you teach Snoozer for us? Reading, thinking, thinking, file, Dr. Dan. Getting enough sleep is something we don't talk about a whole lot, which is a shame, because getting enough sleep is super important to all the other aspects of staying healthy. Let's take exercise for example. Now getting exercise does take a lot of energy. And it's a lot easier after a long day at school to come home and get our hour of exercise if our brain is properly rested and we're sleeping enough. If we're not sleepy enough when we come home tired and groggy, it's a lot easier to sit on the couch and just watch movies or play some video games for the rest of the night. The same thing can be said about eating healthy. Eating healthy takes a little bit more energy and focus than grabbing a bag of potato chips or grabbing some pizza and throwing it in the microwave. We need to spend some time going to the grocery store, preparing our food, and choosing the right foods. And it's a lot easier to do that when our brain is focused and energized than if we're tired and just want to grab something quick. Yeah, Snoozer, this reminds me of last week. What happened last week? Hey, Snoozer, let's make my favorite smoothie. We need some bananas and some blueberries, some strawberries. We're going to add some water. It's going to be delicious. Okay. Ah, oh, pizza. It's already made. It's so quick, easy, and delicious. Snoozer, what are you doing over there? I'm not eating pizza. Snoozer, did you just eat pizza? Yes, I did. Snoozer, you just ate pizza yesterday. I told you not to have it two days in a row. But it was so quick, easy, and delicious. Oh, yeah. Learning Bot, how much sleep should we get? Well, that depends on a few things, such as how old we are and how much sleep we actually need to feel rested. The American Academy of Pediatrics has some rough guidelines to follow. If we're aged one to two years old, we should be sleeping anywhere from 11 to 14 hours per night. If we're aged three to five, we should be sleeping 10 to 13 hours per night. If we're aged six to 12, we should be sleeping nine to 12 hours per night. Wait a minute, Checkers. Why aren't you going to bed at the same time I am? When it comes to sleep, it's very important that we don't compare ourselves to others. If your friend's sleeping less than you or your brothers and sisters are sleeping less than you, but you feel rested in the morning and you're doing well throughout the day, don't worry about it. They need to sleep as much as they need to sleep and you need to sleep as much as you need to sleep. It's important to realize that everybody is different and we all need different amounts of sleep to feel the same way. If you're not feeling well and you're feeling tired throughout the day, you might need to modify your schedule. Try sleeping a little bit more and seeing how your body responds to that. More than likely, you're gonna feel a lot better in the morning, in the afternoon, and even at the end of the day. Thanks, Learning Bot. See you later. Anyway, Snoozer. <sighs> snoozer? <sighs> Good night, Snoozer.